Hello and welcome to the webinar. Last week we showed you reason in a data stream and today we're going to run through how you can see those um, results within your uniform programme. Okay, first thing, um, let's just put some somatic cell counts onto the dashboard. So I know we covered this before, but it's important that you make the uh, dashboard as customised as you can for your farm. So if I tick here, somatic cell count, milk recording, I've got my thresholds, um, what's a good value and what's a bad value. I'll say okay. And now we can see that we've got it there and we're pretty much on target for where we want to be. So we've read in the results. Um, I can see there that we have the latest results in. The report I just want to take you through today is 4.1 cell count analysis. Okay, what we've got here is um, a report and we're looking back at previous somatic cell counts, but there's a lot of things that we can do with it. And there's a lot of graphs that can give us a lot of information. So first of all, what I tend to do is I left click and left click again. And that just like highlights the cows that basically gave the biggest contribution. If I go to here, you'll see cows above 200 and first carvers above 185. Now these are thresholds. You can adjust this if you go to properties, as always in uniform is properties. There we can see the cell counts, edit. Now I'll just move that down a bit to 180, say okay. Remember, left click at the bottom to save settings and the report then recalculates. So again, if I go back to here, you'll now see we're looking at 180. Okay, next thing, the colours. Colours are important. Um, I'm looking at count number 1741, and what we can see here is she's below the threshold in July 105, then it goes red. And what a red means is that's a new infection. If it's purple, that means that she's chronic. And again, we can see because it's 254, we can see she's chronic. And then she's chronic again. So basically, out of five recordings and four occasions, she's been above the threshold. The red line, that just shows mastitis. So she had a clinical case of mastitis. So we just go into the cow record and we just dig a little bit deeper. So we've got the milk recordings here. So the red line, as I said, that denotes mastitis. If I go across to health and treatments, we can see the case there. We go back to milk recordings. And we can see that she started her lactation well, um, then we had an infection and she's remained chronic ever since. If you want to go back and look at more information, then remember to hit the down arrow here. And then we've got the lifetime history of this particular cow. Okay, so let's go back to cell counts. If we now go to graph, okay, what I can see here is um, there are 10 cows above 500,000. So that, that's the red block there. We can then filter that based on first carvers, second carvers, and older cows. We can look at the somatic cell count over the last two years. So the red line, that's the herd average. The blue line is the percentage of cows above 400,000. So you can just see you know, if you're hitting problems. And the orange line is the percentage of cows above 200,000. This report here, um, I really like this report. It just shows me the cows that are chronic. So I can very quickly go across and just identify them, 1831. So she's in this purple section. And what that means is that on her previous recording, if we go back to October 2020, she was basically over a million. And if I look at the current recording, which we've just read in, which is November's, we can see she's still super high. So any cow in this block was above the threshold on the previous recording and is above the threshold on the current recording. Obviously, we want some good news, so we can see the cows that have been cured. And then here, we can see the new infections. So last time, this cow here, 95, she was below 200, but now, we're, now we've got a problem. So a slightly different way of looking at it. We then have a breakdown per milk recording, and that's showing us per month, new infections, chronic, cured, and healthy. I'll, I'm going to come back to this one a little bit later. And then we've got the trend. So if we just work through this one slowly, the target for the cows, that's the 200. That's the one that I showed you in properties where we, we set the threshold for the cows. We then have the target for the first carvers, and that's the one I changed from 185 to 180. Below that, we have a target line. So this is 150. So this is really where we would like to be. Um, 
as an if yeah a really top herd basically that is completely on top of it that's the target that we've given you there you can't adjust that that's just a target within the program then what you can do is you can monitor the cows so you can see the levels for the cows per month's recording and the blue line here that that's the trend so they're somewhere around 115 which is pretty good similarly then we can look at the the heifers first cows and we can see what's going on here per month see we had a bit of a spike there but again they're doing really well in terms of their target they're just above 70. so the trend is looking pretty good then we've got the new infections so ideally we want them below eight percent um we'd really like to get it down to below five percent and we can see this herd is, is doing a pretty good job did have a problem in april we can see that we went up to eight percent of new infections and then finally we have the average somatic cell count for the first milk recording after calving one report you may not have looked at if we go back to the grid so this is all just in this one report if you go to the summary here we can break it down by first carvers second carvers and older cows if you just scroll down a little bit you can then see the contribution from the five cows with the highest somatic cell counts so in july there was five cows they actually contributed to 66 percent but you can also see if you go to the next page so on the top left hand side i'm just clicking over then we get a breakdown here and what this is telling us is that on the 26th of november recording we had 27 cows that had their first milk recording after calving and of those we can see how many were healthy so that's looking good there's 23. one we cured which was great we had no chronic cases at all which is which is really good and we had three new infections if you want to drill down further there's a really good report and i just want to show you that so we'll just close close this down okay it's in here dry off analysis and if you go to the dry off results on this one you can drill down and get more detail I tend to go to the grid and here we see the recording on the 26th of November so that's what I've just showed you as a specific report I'll just get this out of the way you'll see the 27 cows there that had their first milk recording after calving 85% healthy which is great one is cured no chronics at all so that's really good but three cows had new infections who were they just click on the blue eye then you can see the cat cows that are involved and you can see here what cell count they actually came in with one other report just to have a look at is this one here dry off period we've covered the dry off treatments before in previous webinars um, and cows to dry off again we've we've looked at that one but this i think i started to realize is a, is a really strong report you'd expect all the cows the dry period to be between day 40 and 60 so we have this this green line here each dot is a cow and it's showing a realized dry period so this cow here was 1857 she should have been dry for 49 days she was actually only dry for six days and if you want to break that down as a specific report just have a look at it on the grid here and here we can see expected dry off period and then we can see realized dry period how do we do and as ever you you can source on that as well okay so we've covered fairly quickly at a bit of a rate of knot so i apologize i've drunk too much coffee today um cell count analysis we'll just have a look and just see how many questions we have or if we have any questions there will be a movie that will come out tomorrow afternoon and um that you can forward to anybody else or members of the farm that you think may be interested if you want to go through your cell count analysis then please call the help desk and yeah we're always really really happy to do that and um, show you which reports we think you should be looking at and next week we have um for those of you that have milk meters we've got the milking system monitor um and milking time analysis reports that we'll be going through <laughs> and your invites <laughs> for next week's webinar will be sent out tomorrow I was talking too much, wasn't I? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Hopefully you found that helpful. And um, it's a super short survey. If you could fill that out, we'd really appreciate it. Have you got anything else to say, Em? No, thank you. <laughs> no, that's probably enough. All right. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.